Welcome back to Art with Ms. Hudson. Today we're going to talk about some basic shapes. In our discussion about basic shapes, we'll talk about geometric shapes and how they can be used to create our very own robots. Some of the basic shapes that are geometric shapes are a circle, an oval, a triangle, a square, a rhombus, a trapezoid, a rectangle, a pentagon, a hexagon, and an octagon. Today we are going to use our basic geometric shapes to create our very own robots, just like these. Alright, so let's get started making our very own robots. So I'm going to use my three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and my three secondary colors, green, orange, and violet. So I'm going to start out with a square for my head. So I am going to start out by drawing a square towards the top of my page. Now a square has four equal sides. Next, I'm going to make my body of my robot. And for my body, I'm going to use a rectangle. So I'm going to make a shorter side, but it's going to be longer or wider than my square head. I'm going to make it longer because it's his body should be bigger than his head. So I have my rectangle and my square. Next, what we want to do is we want to create our arms and our legs. So I am going to create rectangles that are going to come out at angles from my body and I'm going to create legs that come out at different angles so that it looks like he is dancing. So my rectangles have two sides that are long and two sides that are short. Next, let's give him a neck and some hands. We will use small squares, little squares, one for the neck, and we'll do two for his hands. Next, he needs some feet. Let's give him some green feet. So for my feet, I'm going to use some ovals. Next, we need some eyes, right? So we're going to use some circle for our eyes. So we're going to make one and two. He needs a mouth. So for his mouth, I'm going to use an oval, but you can also use a rectangle. For his nose, I'm going to give him a triangle. And now he needs some buttons on his belly so that we can turn him on and off. So I'm going to do some circle buttons. Circle button, circle button, circle button, circle button. Then I'm going to add a couple of, how about some uh, triangles around my buttons. Maybe a rectangle around this button, another rectangle around this button, and one more. I'm making kind of a pattern, so I've got my triangle at the bottom, and now he can probably be colored in. So one of the things we can do when we color in our robot is we can use either solid colors or we can create patterns or designs on our robot. So I think on his belly, I'm going to make some zigzag designs.
and he needs some dots in the center of his eyes for his pupils so he can see us. Um, I think he's going to have some spirally hair, hair. so I'm going to do some loop-de-loop -loop lines. You can actually even give him some square ears, little small squares for his ears, and we could color in his hands. Make sure you're doing a good job and taking your time with your coloring. Staying inside the lines and making sure to fill in all your space. Whoops, I missed some there. And maybe I'll do some polka dots on his shoes. some striped pants. And let's see here. Maybe we'll just color in his arms to be blue. miss little spots, I go back and I fill it in with my marker afterward. Alright, we'll color in his mouth. And we will color in his ears, and then I would say that my robot is finished. Maybe he needs his eyes colored in around his blue because it looks kind of silly. All right, and there you have it, my shape robot using geometric shapes and patterns. Thanks for joining me.